Okay, Murphy Lee. Yes, sir. My brother. How you doing, my brother? Hey, man, it's been a blessing, man, these last few weeks for me, you know. Yes, sir. I know it's been one for you. I've been watching you. Yeah, you got a lot going on. You know what I yeah, mean? Man. Connecting so, dots. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I always got to do that. You know, it's yes, the sir. industry, you know. We got we to gotta look out for each other. Yes, so. sir. Yeah, so, um, you know, tell the people uh, where you from. Well, let me ask you where you from. I'm from a little place called University City, Missouri. That's called St. Louis. Uh, it's a county in St. Louis. Actually, it's a St. Louis County. Um, special place, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm talking high school. We three generation in it, you know what I mean? Like, my mama went. I went, little brother went, babies, grandbabies went. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a. Uh, when you talk about family oriented community, um, everybody know everybody, but it's still a big, big place. You know what I'm talking about? Right outside of like the city of St. Louis, because the city of St. Louis, they, we got a thing where we call somebody city or county. Oh, you count, y'all county. You know what I'm saying? Right, y'all right, right. city. So we stay in you city. And they always called us county. We was just, a, you know, just one street away. One street away. From, from being, you know, considered the St. Louis city. You know what I mean? So, um, but U City is like one of the coldest places on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's too special in the middle of the whole thing. And, yeah, man, it's, it's one of the dopest places on America. So is it, is it a, like a small town? Or? Nah, it's, 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 it's how you same way y'all called, like, y'all be like this, uh, like, it's no different from a South Fulton and y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, How y'all okay. split it up. Like they college split, Park. Yeah, because if you don't stay in Atlanta, you stay in the counties. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, the same right, thing. Right. And it's the same thing. I ain't learned that until I got older. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When we was younger, we just didn't. If you went into the city, you knew you was in that part of the city. If they went to here, they called the county. Mm-hmm. And it's really only called the county because the police. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be a gang. Oh, man, I ain't going out there. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you know what it is. It's a whole different. It's You treat it differently. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine when it comes to the police. So. That's why the county and the city was different. But other than that, it's St. Louis. It's all St. Louis. Okay, so yeah. how was uh, your, you know, how was your upbringing up in? in oh, my Louis? upbringing was, I, I, I was, it was two sides to it. Cause um, on one side, I can go live with my mom and see it all, and then on the other side, I can go stay with my granny and, and get it in. So half of my my beginning of my life from um, birth to sixth grade, I'm with my mama. You know what I'm saying? We go through the shits. You know what I'm saying? Me, little brother. And my big brother moved, Kiwan, he moved early in the day. You know what I'm saying? So I go back and forth to my grandma when I want some, you know what I'm saying? When I want to wanna eat three times a day. Right, right, when right. I want to, you know what I'm saying, do whatever I want to do, I can go to Granny Crib, you know, and um, from sixth grade on up, that's where I was raised, at Granny House. You know what I'm saying? My mama house was um, a little more, uh, I got to go. I got to mm. work. Mm. Get it. Get through it. Mm-hmm. What you, what y'all want? F- fix it. Do what y'all gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm out, I gotta go get to it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know. Is that is that how um you know you, that's where you started rapping and? Yeah, I, I know sixth grade, granny house. Um, I, I started rapping probably about seventh grade, eighth grade. It was a um, company called Bulletproof Records. I say this in a lot of interviews, but I like shouting them out because they wanted the coldest that um that actually began the independent thing in St. Louis. Uh, Bulletproof Records was just was doing it and they was having shows. And then when I go to school, the people from that neighborhood was reciting the whole album. And you know what I'm saying? They came out with a compilation album. They were selling out their trunk and whole nine to cover. And it was in the record store, you feel yeah. me? At the beeper shops, it, yeah. was, it was that. And it was like, man, so we just start rapping. And we start figuring out that we can go to each park and you know what I'm saying, just spit your, Two oh, verses, oh. you'll have verses, yo. So y'all have battles in the parks? I yeah, know. I wouldn't even call them battles. They're more close to the ciphers, if anything. But okay. it was a battle because if you did good, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody talk about you at some point, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then, you know, that led to lunch rooms and bus rides to the games and all that. It led to, you know what I'm saying? I used to rap in the, uh, the intro to, like, to uh, us going out onto the court and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? To hype us up. I had a rhyme for that. I had... You know, and it started going there. And as you know, when I was in high school, we came up with a, a, a hit, man, called Give Me What You Got. And it led to, it was the number one song in St. Louis for like a whole year. Like That over, was with the record company? Or? We was, nah, once we got it, we signed to this, to a, for a publishing deal, like with a company that was gonna, supposed to lead us to a record deal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. And, you, and the song was on the radio and all that. Yeah, oh no, we was it. We was lit. We was. I was leaving school to go tell other schools to stay in school. 
You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I was going to performance school. We getting chased up while I'm talking. We was there. Yeah. It was it was immaculate. Yes, oh, sir. Man. It was when yeah, I go high to school. school. Yeah, high school, my junior year. Mm. When I was junior, we can have they used to play radio in class and it's coming on. It come on every 30 minutes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Every two hours. No, when I say number one song, I mean, it was the it wasn't, I'm talking about over everything. Like not no, you know, at the end of the year when they do the New Year's thing and then mm-hmm. play the top song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Oh, we was that. You was definitely in that. We was that and we wasn't nationwide. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So it was like, it was just the biggest thing walking in St. Louis and um, came up with another hit. And by the end, we um, ended up getting a, a record deal probably like a year later. Now, when you say we, were you already a St. Lunatic? Yeah, we St. Lunatics, we St. Lunatics at the right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. St. Lunatics from the from the jizzle. And then um, when we... So, wait, let's, let's back up a little bit. So, the St. Lunatics, mm-hmm. you all were... The members of the St. Louis Tix were the same members of the St. Louis Yes, Tix. sir. Yes, sir. So Nelly and everybody yes, else. Sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Since 93. Since 93. Yeah, we fought the Lone Tix in 93. And when was the first uh, worldwide release? What 99. Year was that? 99. Yeah. Yeah. I remember 99. that. Our first. Um, but Nelly was the first actual. 99, yes. Got a record. Nelly got a record deal. Okay. In 99. Yeah. Yeah, uh, ninety seven. Underlay, was underlay that song. Yeah, nah, it was uh, down, down, baby. Oh, it was down. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. Country with the car, with the cars. And mm-hmm. I remember the video. Like it, that video made me want to produce music videos. That's right. Yeah, because I yeah, seen that the was, shot. That was the first of um, all of that. After that, you saw that yeah. in every video. Right. After right. you saw that, how them cars and yeah, people cars. behind lined up like that. The like, girls dancing. Yeah, bro. they ain't did that since like an old school two short <laughs> video or something. Just, yeah, the girls dancing took me out. Like, oh, yeah, they, they I was, was like, wild. I got to shoot a video like that. Right, you know. And they was, they was happy to be there. You I'm know sure. That was super dope. Yeah, because that put that kind of put St. Louis on the map at the time. I know, definitely yeah. that. Yeah, because uh, not too long after that, you had Jay Quan, you had... Couple of people, yeah, you know, right man. behind y'all. Yeah. Chingy. Chingy, yeah. R.I.P. Baby Huey. Yeah, Baby Huey, uh, R.I.P. Yeah. Man, a little bit of everybody. So, you all, all you guys met the St. Louis, you all met in high school or grew up uh, together? or U City. Like I told you, second okay. generations. Our mamas went to school together. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, it was, it was, so it was, that was a family. Was like, man, quit playing. U City is it. Yeah. U City, the truth. Shout out to U City. Yeah. yeah. And um, then also, you know, it's, we mixed it with the North Side because Ali and Nelly got ties on the North Side of St. Mm. Louis. So it was it was just, it was correct. Now, you know did you, I, mean? I know Nelly played baseball. Did you play yeah. sports too? Yeah, I'm a baseball head too. You're a baseball head we, too? We played it all. We played, Nelly played basketball, football. I played um, baseball, basketball. We played it all. So y'all, all y'all was athletic. That, that's all we do. To this day, I played yesterday. I won a playoff game yesterday. Softball. That is interesting. I still play. Yep. So just your day ones, you just y'all went and got yeah, a deal yeah, together and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just took off. Man, that's yeah. that is that is unheard of. It these was days. it was um, hanging together already and just start a group. It wasn't you rap, you rap, you rap. All right, let's be a group. It wasn't like that. It was like we're around. We already oh, we know how to rap. You finna know how we finna know how to rap. You finna. <laughs> right. It was one of those. Nelly and Key want to start rapping together. And then me and C- I start seeing City Spud go around the city, turn people up mm. with his rhymes. Other people around every rhyme. <laughs> he was right. killing. He knew how to. He knew how to turn a Spice One song into his song, and oh, everybody my. would know. I gonna take a B record. He he was cold. City was cold, man. That's that's City Spud. So it wasn't really like a. You, you guys didn't have like a mixtape era. You just yeah. kind of went straight. Straight out. Yeah, we had to put our we um did some trunk stuff. Yeah, oh, you of did? Of course, yeah. But it was before the mixtape era. You know, the mixtape era didn't hit to like oh three, mm-hmm. for real. You know, people had mixtape, but it was DJ mixtapes. Mm-hmm. You know, that's when Clue and all them that when in ninety nine and mm-hmm. two thousand Clue and all them was they was doing DJ mixtapes. Nobody had like they own mixtape out. So we literally put out like little albums. We call them. We was calling them. Um, it actually was like our demo, but we were selling it. Mm. So we were selling our demo before the mm. person took the demo the and said, yeah, 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 hell yeah. Y'all probably made half a million dollars doing yeah. that. No, nah, people was in the club and we was in the line of the club. When you come in and pay Selling for the quarter yeah. get parked, yeah. Yeah. we right there. Tell, I mean, just tell, I'm telling you, put in number four. It's going <laughs> it's gonna to hit. I'm telling right, you, just right. try. If it don't hit, then you ain't got to pay me. Put on that, ooh, I heard. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, y'all, was getting, y'all, was hustling. y'all was some real yeah, hustlers yeah, in, yeah, in the U-Town back then. Oh, yeah, definitely did. Hey, man, they just getting money, man. Sorry, man. So, um, well, my next question was actually going to be, how did you meet Nelly? Nelly but uh, 
Yeah, we, we got past that already. Now we, Kiwan said that he came down there and he was like, "Y'all want to race?" <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and he raced. Running, <laughs> race, running. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Y'all want to race? How, you know how, how, you know how you didn't know how to introduce nobody. It was in eighth grade. Oh, I was okay. in the fifth. I was in the fourth. And they was in the eighth grade. And <laughs> so you're the youngest out of them? Yeah, I'm the youngest of the group. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that, though. Yeah, we are like four years apart, for real, like three years. Mm -hmm. That's why we well, cover so much. We cover so much um, ground when we first came out because we was all in three, four different generations. All of us, you know, top of our class type thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The homecoming, the, the, the most popular. And you know what I'm saying? So it linked up. When we come in the club, I'm coming with mine. He coming here, he coming in. So anytime it's a lunatic show, it's, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying, from every angle. So it's safe to say that you were probably in the club when you weren't supposed to be. Oh, boy. I'm in Big Slip at 14. We had to perform. <laughs> <laughs> we had to perform Give Me What You Got, the song I was talking about. We had we had performances in old head club, old head uh, lounges and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 14 up circuit. in that thing. Yeah. yeah. Not even no chilling circuit, just... Shit, that's who you, we we had a St. Louis hit. Yeah. <laughs> and if you gonna pay two hundred, <laughs> you gonna pay. We in everything. Huh? That bar said come through two hundred. Well, two hundred is two ounces. We definitely getting there. We gonna go blow there. We gonna blow it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> blow the two ounces. <laughs>